else than to worship and praise our Lord and Savior. Truth be told, that's why we're here. And when I say here, that's why we're alive. Amen. To worship our Savior. Amen. Thank you, Bishop, for all that he does. He always lifts up the people up, but if, if you all gathered here today had any idea of what he actually does throughout the week, amen. you would say like I say, I don't know how he does it. Amen, amen. While going back and forth to the doctors. Yes, I know how he does it. It's not in his strength. Amen. But it's in the strength of the Lord. In fact, it's good to see some of y'all. <laughs> Haven't seen some of y'all in a few years. You notice I say a few years because that goes back before the pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Y'all talk about me. <laughs> Turn your Bible with me to Jeremiah. Some 
names to be identified and come to the forefront. The devil's been busy in our lives, and for some of us here this morning, uh, it's been hard for us to experience that heat. Some of us have lost a job. You might have your own business and you lost some work. Families have broken up. You've lost a loved one. Going through marital issues. Yeah, somebody should say amen. Amen. Not going through some of you heading toward a divorce situation. That's because of the pressure All right. is being applied and the heat has been turned up on your life. All right. Mm. And if it's not here today, right now, it's, it's more likely than not to happen on another day Amen. or another month. And if you're not going through right now, trust me when I tell you, you will go through some situations yeah. that make you feel like the heat has been turned up. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so for a little while this morning, I want to uh, place in somebody's spirit so that you might share with someone around you or at home or at work or whatever the case may be. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, help me with your mask on. Announce the subject today. Tell somebody I've been planted, not buried. Anybody in here feel like you've been buried alive? Like life's got you down? Like it's too much going on and you don't know how to make it right? And you don't know what? you're going to do? Hmm. Good news is there's a gushing stream. <laughs> yeah, help me spirit. A, 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 a gushing stream, a fountain of living water that is available to each and every one of us. Hmm. Good water that would help us quench our thirst. Hmm. The way I see it, I read it and understand, there are groups of us. And I've personally been in each and every one of these groups. All right, all right. Some of them I didn't like, but we had to go through nonetheless. Amen, amen. There are groups of people that need to realize that you've been planted yeah. and not built. Right. And the first group of people who are, 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 are planted, they're planted desert, far away from the, whew, the source of that living water that the Bible talks about. You've been planted far away in, 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 in a desert-like experience. The second group of people are planted near or close to the stream. And then still the third group of people, those people are planted hmm, right next to the river bank. Right next to the gushing stream. Hmm. And as I say, I've had experience in each and every one of these groups. All right. So those of you that are currently planted in what seems like the desert, which is far away from the living stream, you're the ones that have not yet put your trust in God. And I ain't talking about nobody, I'm just sharing. But you have not yet given God all of you all right. so that he can give you all of himself. Amen. You're not yet huh, accepted all that Jesus Christ has to offer. Hmm. If you don't believe me. Come on, man. Hmm. Come on, all right. Just back up a couple of verses and take a look at verse number five and number six. You don't have to do it now. We'll read it for you. Thus saith the Lord, cursed is the man who trusts in man and makes his flesh his strength, whose heart departs from the Lord, for he shall be like a shrub in the desert, and shall not see that when good comes, but shall inhabit the parched places in the wilderness. Anybody here feel like they're walking around in the wilderness right now? All right. And you don't know how you're going to make it to that stream? Lord, help me somebody. The question is, is this for you? Is this you? Think about it now. Is this you, the person who is not right here today, trusting 
everything. All right, all right. Everything. Your entire life, your entire being, your children, your job, your financial situation. Have you turned everything over to the Lord? All right. All right. Or are you trusting in yourself and your own abilities? Do you look at yourself or, 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 or your family and your boss and your government as the one that can get you through your situation? Do you consider yourself to be your all and your all and all be all and all you need is you? No. Y'all have to tell the truth. Because I've been there myself. Hmm. You look forward to anything or anybody except God. Yeah, the heat is on you, and it's hot. You're being scorched. Problem right now is you're planted in the desert, and you're not planted by the living water. Hmm. Planted in a waterless desert. That means you don't have no Jesus in your life right now. And not because he doesn't want to be in your life, but because you have not yet called on the name of Jesus. Doesn't matter if, 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 if you're hot or if you're cold, but you for right now, you're going and you're heading down a path of destruction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. And your destruction is imminent anytime you're not close to Jesus. Oh, well, so the question is, what do you do? And if you allow me, I can suggest to you immediately, like right now, uproot yourself. Yeah. Hmm.
there's a similar passage of scripture. In Psalm 1 it says, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the sorrowful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in season, whose leaves also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. Get in your word so that the word can get in you and then also come out of you. Hmm. Lord have mercy. Instead of being like a, a man that trusts hmm, in, in himself, why not try? Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Why not give God a chance? Hmm.
Keep on!